Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, April the 25th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the universe has to say, ramping up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, and moving forward in the energy of using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention. Moving forward. You notice I'm going forward and upward. That's an angle, right? On purpose. So moving forward in our intention to create our best possible life now. Thank you now for the likes and subscribes. I thank you in advance. That does help my channel to promote this video to people who would love it just as much as you do. So thank you for that. Let's move into the energy, see what the cards have to say. And we have a standoff as we stand and brace ourselves in the energy of the Five of Swords. Now, you know this is change, and, and you already see Elvira Knievel's coming in here with that chariot, the Cancer Major Arcana. So, change in the best way possible. Realize that when you're in this energy of the Five of Swords, you've already won the battle. You've, you've got these people already on a place where they're kind of kneeling to you, okay? So, understand it doesn't matter at this point about how to plan or strategize. You've already won. So this is a moment where you have to kind of re-collect re yourself and reassess how to move forward and when to move forward because you have to take a break and give yourself time to, to recover and reassess, you know, what the supplies are. Let yourself recover from the, the things that you have had happen. I mean, you know, we go through battle. There's things that, that kind of get knocked cattywampus so you want to get yourself back in alignment and this is the moment where you have to be still and let the universe assist you and that is the universe assisting you the chariot is the energy of overcoming all the the challenges that are were in front of you you're now surmounting them flying over them in the energy of the elvira knievel and uh that's my my little pet name for this card it literally is success on wheels as you move forward so upgrade 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 bigger better and moving over anything trying to stop you not even getting close to it clearing it very easily with her beautiful rainbow smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe there so yay team as we move forward We've won the battle. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, though, because you're still feeling the aches and pains of, of having to do it all. So that's why you have to be still and hold the ground you've gained. You don't have to do anything else. Don't, don't retreat and don't try to advance. Hold your ground. Boom. The breakthrough happens. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, now that's the tower coming down. So whatever has been holding you back or whatever obstacles have been kind of running up into, you know, you've been like hitting the brick wall or not really been able to move from where you are. This is the moment where that all comes down. Through the power of the universe, these lightning strikes are happening to help you. This is, this is where you have to have the energy of understanding that you're being freed from whatever this obstacle is and you just have to allow yourself not to panic during the rumbling of, of the tower being knocked down. It is doing it to assist you to move forward. That's how Elvira Knievel is not going to crash into that because she's just going to go right over the top of it. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Oh, hello. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the lovely and talented Four of Cups, which is a beautiful energy coming in. That's a blessing in disguise, so it means you have to fully vet things and not just turn them away at the first glance because they may be very different than they appear in the onset. I call it a blessing in a brown paper bag so that you kind of get the gist and we have our three cards out. Oh, there's the master manifester, the magician. So being in the energy of creation, love this energy because it's all about allowing you to stand in your power of manifestation, of believing in yourself, believing for the goal, focusing on it, and allowing yourself to move forward 
in the energy of whatever the next step is, right? Allow yourself to manifest that next steps always appear exactly when I need them. The synchronicity of the universe is always assisting me. I am moving forward toward the goal and I'm not thinking about what I need or what I don't have in order to get there. Because if you start focusing on what you don't have, then you're not focusing on your goal. You're focusing backwards. So let's make sure we stay focused on the goal. What is, what, whatever we're trying to achieve, whatever we're trying to improve, whatever we're trying to manifest, allow yourself to stay in the end result. Okay, so we have flexibility, which is a beautiful uh, trait to have and to be able to not be rigid when things are coming in to assist you. You have to understand just like this one, it doesn't always show up how you picture it. So be flexible because it's usually going to show up in a better way if it's different than you picture it. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. Absolutely. That means roll with it. Keep yourself in a place where you can pivot, move, and groove because that's the way you have to be. Allow yourself to move because you don't know all the answers and you have to acquiesce to the universe's divine knowledge. We have security. I choose to feel secure and to work so that my bank account is full. That means work your energy. It doesn't have to be manual labor to work till your bank account is full. Yes, it is part of the fruits that you receive. Even if you're only placing a little bit, of, you know, a little piece at a time, it does add up. And and you don't have to have uh, a, a million dollars first rattle out of the box. It usually comes in small increments. So allow yourself to keep that in perspective. We've got to walk before we can run just so that we get the feeling of how to deal with it, right? And we have our beautiful angel oracle cards. No need to worry. I'm going to believe the universe on that. No need to worry. As we're in the energy of creation and we believe in ourselves, the universe is going to bring us exactly what we believe to be true. Remember that. What you believe is what you create. What you focus on is what you create. Hello, my kitty cat. My cat just jumped up on my shoulder. He thinks he's a parrot. <laughs> he just jumps up and then he jumps back down. Mother Gaia energy. We have the frequency of Gaia that reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that has birthed us all. Remember the grounding energy of Mother Gaia is, our, is kind of our magnet of um, balance. Because if we didn't have the grounding energy of Mother Gaia and the connection to that, that beautiful first dimension energy, we would be kind of off, you know, kind of floating around, not really having a central grounding point. And that's, that's what the grounding is important and, and good for. Gratitude. Thank you. Exclamation point. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. And so it is. We will take that as a huge blessing and welcome it. Peace. Ooh, peace is a good, good feeling. Being in that place of just everything serene. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. And so it is. Love that energy. Okay. We've got our manifesting going on. Something showing up even though we don't see it as what we thought we were manifesting. It's going to be a major piece in the puzzle. So you want to make sure and vet everything fully before you say no. Before you turn it away or give it away. 
and the Princess of Wands. So this is telling you the instruction is coming on how to proceed with it. She's the the wonderful like um, so in in the mask in the masculine energy of the page instead of the Princess of Wands. The Page of Wands is a messenger, and this messenger is the messenger of how to proceed. And so she's coming to give you that that information or the the way to proceed. As she contacts you, you'll see the value of this. And we're in the energy of the enlightened mind with the hanged woman being very much in a place of peace and trust. She's in an absolute and flexibility like we had earlier, right? So she's very much in that place of allowing herself to see things from the higher perspective and to take a look at the bigger picture and allow herself to see all that's available and be in a place of being guided and connected to source and all of our beautiful energy of our universal connection with all things remember infinitely we are connected to all things it is, that is what the collective is all about so i send you lots of love lots of light lots of manifestation strength and focus lots of healing joy happiness peace and abundance to all of you i'll see you again tomorrow namaste my friends